under the algorithm classifications category we are going to discuss an algorithm known as the backtracking algorithm so under this particular algorithm category backtracking algorithm we are having so many algorithms in our real life problems backtracking algorithms are based on a def first recursive search so obviously it will be a recursive algorithm and test to see whether a solution has been found and if so it returns it otherwise it will go for further iterations and so on so that means whenever it will get one solution the recursive algorithm will return the solution to the respective caller for each choice that can be made at this point make the choice recur if the recursion returns the solution return it if no choices remain return failure and that is the when the choices are not available then it will backtrack and it will go for the other choices if possible in the previous in the previous recursive call so if this thing is not clear to us let us go through one example which will clear up our conceptions see there is a particular famous problem known as the n quince problem we are having a separate video on this n quince problem so this particular n quince problem we are supposed to place n number of quince into one n cross n matrix so that no two quins will have the same diagonal or in the same column or in the same row so that is a very famous classical problem that is the n quins problem so n quins are to be placed on a n cross n matrix so that no two quins will have the same diagonal same row and same column so in that that very problem is known as a, a good example of backtracking problem backtracking algorithm so now this is my n quince problem so algorithm n quince k comma n n is the number of quince maximum number of quince it is there and k is the kth quince which i want to place in the matrix maintaining all the constants using backtracking this procedure prints all the combinations of the solution for i is equal to 1 to n because that queen is to be tested we know that the kth queen must be placed at the kth row because first queen at the first row second queen at the second row so the kth queen will be placed at the kth row but we don't know the respective column number so here for i is equal to 1 to n that means we are searching for the columns column wise we are searching that where that kth queen at the kth row in which column i it can be placed so if place ki Place k i place is one another function which will be written separately. It will check whether this particular queen place is getting uh, is is having any collision with the other queens or not. So it will return either true or false. If the queen can be placed, the kth queen can be placed at the ith column or not. If the kth queen can be placed at the ith column, it will return true. And if the kth queen cannot be placed at the ith column, then it will return false. Okay. Then if it is it returns true, then I'll be i'll be keeping this particular array to indicate that the kth queen has been placed at the ith column and if k is equal to n that means i'm placing the last queen in my problem then i shall print the solution which is already in the array x else i shall go for the placement i shall go for the placement of the k plus 1 queen out of n number of queens and i'll be calling this one in a recursive way this recursion has been put under this iteration and this is a very good example of backtracking problems so what is a backtracking problem and one proper example a very classical problem where this backtracking algorithm has been used we have discussed that that one in this particular session in the next session we are going for other algorithm classifications please watch those videos also thanks for watching this one